Hello friends, how are you? This is Dr. Shinagi, Ayurveda and Medicine Doctor and also Isha Hatha Yoga Teacher. So today in this video, I'm going to talk about liver and also the important points that you need to diagnose by yourself whether your liver needs detox or not. When I'm talking about liver, like what are the signs or what are the diagnosis, I'm not speaking about clinical diagnosis that is LFT, liver functioning test, that you go to clinic and have your LFT done, that is liver functioning test. These are clinical parameters. That is very, very different from what I'm going to talk about. Or these clinical parameters are very different from Ayurveda parameters of functioning of liver. Definitely, when your liver is in the failure stage or it is totally functioning not well, that is your LFTs are disturbed, then the line of treatment will be something different. But when your LFT is normal, but still there are certain signs and symptoms which shows your digestive fire or your functioning of liver or functioning of Bhuta Agni is not proper. In Ayurveda, liver is considered as the place where Bhuta Agni works. Like I have mentioned in my previous videos, like in human body, there are 13 types of fires that are present. There are five types of there are five types of elemental fires that is called Bhuta Agni. There are seven types of Dhatva Agni that is called cellular fire or, or the energy that is responsible for cellular transformation. As you know, one cell level got transformed to another uh, kind of cell level that is specialized cell and this is how human system work. And the last one is digestive fire. So among these fires, the Bhuta Agni, the place of uh, elemental fire is liver and how we will check whether our elemental fire is working proper or not according to Ayurveda perspective. And when is the time that we need to pay attention to our liver? As liver is considered as the most important organ in human body. And these days, as you know, most of the people are taking a lot of uh, medicines for uh, uh, depression, for various kind of anxiety disorders, for various kind of syndromes, which are extremely damaging for liver. And, uh, and because people are not adopting yoga lifestyle or healthy lifestyle, or many times it happens like people are not aware of these lifestyles. If uh, even they want to change something, but the capability to change those things is not there and uh, for many people yoga is nothing more than an exercise so uh, so i understand the pain of this because i was also one among them uh, though i belong to india and uh, yoga came in my life very early in my age at the age of 22 but still the actual meaning of yoga, the actual strength of yoga, I have realized after many years. Uh, so I completely understand the situation of people, but at the same time, it becomes extremely important, like what we are popping in our uh, mouth, because all these alcohols, all these drinks, especially which contains a lot of low pH, especially these cold drinks, cokes and all these things, so their pH value is very low and they are not liver friendly at all and they will damage liver to a very big extent. So in such situations, there are certain signs and symptoms, very feeble signs and symptoms which our body gives, but we never notice. We just wait once, uh, we just wait for a day like liver totally went into failure and that is the day when your clinical parameters that is LFT, liver functioning test, clinically will go wrong. And then if you want to reverse it, it's very, very difficult. But if you pay attention, because our body has its own intelligence, whenever we do something wrong or we do, uh, or we eat something which is not helpful for liver, especially these very harsh chemicals, or alcohol or very strong alcohol or synthetic alcohols. So what is happening uh, when we're drinking it, when we take it, it is going to impact your liver and your liver start giving a very small signs. Uh, 
uh, which most of the people ignore. So today I'm going to talk about these sign and symptoms like if you feel these sign and symptoms that means it is the time that you stop the cause which is creating these sign symptoms and you focus on your diet and lifestyle. So the very first sign and symptom uh, about liver is sometimes we feel pain in our right hypochondrium. It's a very mild pain. It's a very mild pain, almost negligible pain. And uh, with this pain, uh, you can walk, you can do your works, you can do everything, but just sometime you feel pain. So if you're feeling these kind of sometime pains and very mild pain, which is almost unnoticeable, that means you pay attention like what you are eating or maybe uh, your liver is signing, okay, check your diet. Uh, so, or maybe your liver is uh, putting an alarm, please take medicines uh, carefully or take the synthetic medicines very carefully or take something whatever you are eating non-stop like alcohol or these kind of harsh drinks please pay attention maybe it's damaging for liver when i'm saying right hypochondrium i'm saying just below our uh, rib cage on the right side so that is the area that is called right hypochondrium and it is the place where your liver stays the very wonderful thing about our body is this body don't uh, jump quickly into diseases especially in in case of chronic ailments our body has its own intelligence even yogic sciences says like body has its own intelligence so it is not like you eat something today and next day the impact will come things are not like this when you, when, once you eat something rubbish your immune system fight with it and your immune if your immune system is better this rubbish will not matter much but eventually you will see if this alarm sign keep going or your uh, body start giving certain signs uh, and if you uh, don't notice these signs then what will happen one day eventually after one two or three years or even four years five years slowly the damage to the liver will start happening because if you keep doing wrong keep doing wrong keep doing wrong because body has a certain limit to tolerate it a day will come like the body will start weakening and that is the time where your liver start giving clinical signs that are uh, present in your blood test reports but the signs I'm going to mention today or, or if any one of the sign is present it is not you need to have all the signs it is time you just pay attention on your lifestyle just adopt yoga just do little walking exercise and all these small things it is not okay you will become scared oh my god this is happening what to do it's not like that these are the normal things which uh, almost everybody's body speaks and if we do little changes, these subsides by itself. And if needed, Ayurveda consultation is always there. So, uh, so no need to worry or scared about it. Just be aware about it because if you are aware, it will help you to make your choices better. So next thing is if your mouth is smelling bad, for some reasons, if uh, there is bad breath in your uh, mouth so it can be because of your tooth problem or some kind of gland or bad uh, uh, oral hygiene uh, or some teeth related problem regarding teeth related problem i already have created videos so you can make use of it how to naturally take care of uh, your teeth many people ask like how your teeth are so white and what you apply on your teeth so regarding that i have already created video you can go to that video there's a link below and you can make use of it so next most important thing from Ayurveda perspective is, is tongue examination. As you know in Ayurveda a lot of importance has been given to how your tongue looks because as an Ayurveda doctor we make various diagnoses just by looking at the tongue and just saying which dosha will be imbalanced. So there is a different science behind it for that you need to be Ayurveda doctor that is different thing. 
But a simple tip I, that I can give you, if your tongue is corted enough, that means your liver needs detoxification or it is the time that you need to take care of your liver. When I am saying liver detoxification, I am not recommending the rigorous dis detoxes that are there on YouTube like drink this and your liver will detoxify, this drink this and liver will detoxify. I do not support these things because I am Ayurveda doctor, so I support all the things that are mentioned in Ayurveda which is an ancient science and law which is an ancient science and logically one and each step has been mentioned. So, I do not uh, support all the random experiments like you drink this and detoxify your liver, you drink oil and do this and do that. I, uh, I do not uh, I do not support these things, but yes, I, when I am saying liver detox, I am supporting fruits in your diet because fruits act as a natural detoxifier. So, whenever you have this kind of situation, take a big bowl of seasonal fruits in the morning and it will dis and this will detox your liver naturally. In addition to that, there are certain herbs in Ayurveda that are being prescribed, but these herbs can be uh, given to someone only after a Ayurveda uh, diagnosis and prescription or consultation because randomly if I speak about these herbs everybody will start taking because there are many herbs and people will choose take this, take this, take this and it depends on prakriti of the person like which herb will suit to which one. It is not like there is one herb and everybody can eat. It is not like that because different uh, people have different constitution, different kind of digestive fire, different kind of uh, emotional state, mental state and various kind of uh, situations in which country they live. So, many other things need to take in consideration before, before prescription, uh, before prescribing any kind of Ayurveda medicine. So, I also recommend uh, if you have to take medicine, please uh, get a proper consultation with a proper Ayurveda doctor, only then that medicine will work. Otherwise, just randomly if you are picking something, I doubt it will work or not. Next important symptom which I am going to tell is the bitterness of the taste like whatever you are eating you feel like there is some kind of bitterness in the mouth. The taste of your mouth is very bitter or sometimes people even lost the sense of the taste. These two symptoms also happen when your liver is not working properly from Ayurveda perspective. So, whenever somebody speaks these things. Uh, Whenever somebody comes with these things is definitely their liver is not uh, in its uh, that means liver not functioning at the optimum level. Sometimes this also happens when you take very strong antibiotics because as you know the metabolism of all antibiotics happens in the liver. Liver is the thing which do metabolism of all the medicines that you take. So, uh, because of uh, because these um, uh, antibiotics are extremely heavy. So, in these cases also this happens like your liver uh, get impacted more and in these cases also sometimes lo loss of sense of taste happens or sometimes there is bitterness in mouth and sometimes whatever you eat you feel this is something not good. If these kind of sensations are coming that means it is time that you pay attention to your liver. These are the very common symptoms that we feel in anybody's life. It is not some kind of scary symptoms like oh, like oh my god, my liver, like oh my god, my liver is going to fail. No, not at all. It is not like it is going to fail, but it is just giving alarming signs. Like you know, these all are alarming signs. Like you just pay attention what you are eating. For example, some people drink a lot of coffee that is dark coffee and they also have these kind of symptoms especially if they have pitta body type and if you are thinking what is this pitta body type regarding this also we have a video that is dosha series there is a link below you can click on that link and you can uh, figure out what is your body type and various other videos are there regarding doshas you can go to our channel you can see various videos we have created for the help of people so that their life can become more and more better and they will become more and more aware about their health so that no need to go to the doctors or hospitals and uh, they will and uh, they will be able to live a life healthy without uh, any kind of heavy medicines just joyfully blissfully 
and with proper health with the health of, with the help of ayurveda and yoga but that doesn't mean i am saying i am against western medicine no i am not against western medicine when it is needed we will take it but uh, when some other good uh, pathies are also available we are, uh, which contains very good and which, which contains very good and natural things we should not be so fool to ignore it and we should adopt whatever is good in each pathy because none of the pathy is complete as i support in accidental cases and in emergency ca cases western medicine is the best medicine that time ayurveda has limitations but uh, in chronic diseases or in our lifestyle diseases ayurveda has uh, good things that we can adopt in our life so these were the symptoms which i mentioned today and if you have any question regarding it you please write down those questions i will try to answer your questions in the best possible way you can write in comment section and also if you are watching me for the first time please subscribe my channel there is a subscription button there is a bell icon you can click the subscription button and you can hit the bell icon so that you stay in tune with our upcoming videos also if you would like to support us you can click the join button and you can support us many people are asking we would like to support us but how we can support us and how much we need to pay it's not like that it is just one dollar i think uh, so you can just start with that like it is not some kind of big support or how much uh, money we need to pay it's not like that it is just like your little support can make much difference in somebody's life it's just like this also if somebody has these symptoms what can be done regarding this you please watch our detox video that is mini detox and uh, it's when i'm saying mini detox i am not asking you to eat this oil that oil uh, though in ayurveda there is a concept of snigdha ahara but it is ahara it is not direct sipping of oil but uh it is just you change your lifestyle have a big bowl of fruits eat your dinner early don't sleep during the day unless it is summer and uh, uh, try to have freshly cooked food try to have organic food try to consume food within 3 hours of cooking so that all the nutritious values remain intact don't use canned food and uh, foods with excessive preservatives like uh, the, these days especially in modern countries there is a trend to have canned foods and and these foods are just in such a way like you can uh, just uh, bring food add some water and food is ready so these kind of foods are not so uh, good for health especially it is not pranic at all or uh, negative pranic it is considered from yoga perspective so try to avoid these kind of foods because these kind of foods will fill your belly but they will not give health to you so that's all for today's video i hope you will like this video and if you like this video please don't forget to share it with your friends and family and uh, with this note i would like to say stay healthy stay blessed bye take care